Hey, what's happening, AJT Jungle? I hope you guys did good today. Um, I was gone in the middle of the day. You know, had to take my son to the DMV. And any of you that's been to the DMV in cities like ours, it's not a fun experience. But we survived. Uh, made it back in time for earnings. Um, I'll be talking about those earnings trades tomorrow. Uh, we had a unique opportunity that popped up that we'll be talking about tomorrow. But uh, right now we're dealing with the futures. I was not able to take anything um, this morning. You can see it, it, it was just a mess. Okay, the price action for me was, was just a mess. And when it started to smooth out and give us, you know, a good opportunity... You know, after lunch, this is, you know, I was sitting in the DMV. I kind of missed that. So when I got back, um, I saw that we were crossing, you know, we, we were crossing back below. the. Um, we were above the zero line, and then we were crossing back below the signal line. The MACD was crossing back below the signal line, which typically, you know, gives us a short opportunity. However, even though we were this close to the linear regression channel, which is right, um, which was this one, even though we were close, you know, I went ahead and got in. So I got in here and then I added a couple of shares um, when we got through this, but then ended up having to get out of it because we could not get below the linear regression channel, which if you look at this candle, I mean this chart here on the bottom left, this is it right here. We couldn't get through it. So I ended up having to um, bail out of it. And then I got long and did not, um, just didn't have, the patience to stay in it, you know, as far as I needed it to go. Um, it did come close to hitting the target up here, but I bailed, you know, way early. And I could have taken profit up here, but I just kind of messed that up. And then as we were crossing back below, you know, above the zero, we were crossing back down. I got short again and got another little move. But nothing like what we did yesterday. And the market just wasn't here. And, you know, but it wasn't negative. I added a little bit to our our total. Um, it just helps us get that much closer to the end of the week and the end of our five-day test period. And we will have converted that account to pro and then we can start the payout cycle on that account um and that's kind of what i want to get into today and in, in talking about the um and talking about the uh prop firms and the accounts and everything you know why i recommend you having you know buying multiple uh eval accounts even though we're working on one okay there are a couple of reasons why i, my, I advise you to do that and i say five because that's the number of pro accounts we can trade it at take profit trader and that's kind of why i say five at a time but and you can try you can trade five of them at a time so that's kind of why i want to do that you know why i say that now the reason why i like for you to have more accounts and the reason why i do it is because the minute you take a trade okay in the morning you get started you take a trade and let's say you mess up you you jump in too early and it doesn't go the way you want it to and now you're down 
and you take another trade and you probably shouldn't have taken that or you should have taken it and it doesn't work and you're down in your account. Now, all you're going to be thinking about is trying to get that account back to break even. Back above, let's say it's a $25,000 account. Back above $25,000, you know, so you won't start the next day in the hole. Or let's say something happened and you got real close to where you have um, max loss. And so you can't trade that. Now, the market has settled down. You settled down. You're feeling good. You're feeling confident. You can't go back to the account you just messed up. Because mentally, you're going to be trying to get that back. Start with a fresh account. You got another eval account. Start with a fresh account and get back to work. Okay, you would not have wasted a day. Um, you would have used all of the things and the tools that, that you've learned from me, that, uh, that you hopefully that you've learned from me, and that you can use those and get yourself back in the right mindset and get back to work. Now, you guys not, that's been with me for a long enough time, you know I have some epic meltdowns. But I don't allow it to destroy on my trading for that day it's been a it's been a little while since i've let that destroy my trading you know it takes a long time to learn you're gonna have these drawbacks and you're gonna fall back and break breakdowns and all of that stuff but that's that's part of trading okay that's that's part of it so i want you to have these accounts and so as you get through them and you get them to pay out, okay, when you start trading the next account, then, hey, you can trade them side by side. Or you can link them together and you can trade two accounts at one time. When you get two accounts to pay out, you know, you still don't want to trade the two accounts that pay out and then one you still trade one and one so that if you mess up that day, you're not going to kill your payout account, your performance paying account. Then you could just move on to another pair. OK, it's it's all about managing. This is another part of managing your risk. And, and being smart about, you know, what you do. You come in and you try to trade five accounts at one time and you blow them all up. You can't trade anymore. But with Take Profit Trader, you can't have up to 10 accounts. You can just only trade five profit paying accounts at one time. All right. So that's the reason. Um, that's the reason why I tell you to get multiple accounts. And it doesn't matter what prop firm you trade with I feel that's the best idea okay I feel that is the best idea okay now a lot of you guys have asked about take profit trader do they is there um do the payouts really work as good as they work? Dude, sorry, that's my alarm. That's my earnings alarm. Um, do they work as good? So this morning, I requested a payout at 10.15 this morning. And I, I should have taken a snapshot of the request. Now, the request doesn't have the time or anything on it, but it shows that you have requested it. And that um, somebody on the team will review it and that it can take up to so many hours but it should happen a lot faster than that okay they have to tell you that because if the server goes down or whatever you know then they can't do it as fast as you would want so 
I sent it at 10.15. At 10.59, let's say 11 o'clock, 45 minutes later, I get the email. Your payout request has been approved. Please go to your wallet. Now, what happens when you request a payout from your, your account, um, whatever you request goes to your digital wallet inside the dashboard and then you go to your digital wallet and then you would click proceed under withdrawal request it should already be there all right and so you go through your withdrawal request now you don't do this every time um i only had to do it the first time that i made a, a required a withdrawal a request of a withdrawal i had to fill out a 1099 tax form or i not I can't remember what it is. It was a tax form. But you only do it once and you only do it the first time. And it only takes five minutes. So you do that and you really do that while you're waiting for them to go through everything that they go through. So this was at 11 o'clock. I had everything submitted by 11.15 for my payout. Okay, it was my request had been approved. I had everything for my withdrawal request done and that you have to do a request because they have to verify that your paperwork is in order meaning that 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 tax form and anything else you know your bank account still active and all, all of that stuff they gotta make sure that you have you're good before you do your request so this is what happened after i finished doing everything this is what i got and you can see it doesn't put the time stamp on here so that's kind of why i didn't copy the first one i did but it says and this is another one um you will receive an email once the transfer has been processed this can typically take a couple of minutes to process but can take up to 48 hours. Again, they're giving themselves 48 hours in case the system crashes or something happens. But it usually happens, and every time that I've done it, it happens very, very quickly. All right, so, bam. At 12.17, roughly one hour later, 60 minutes later, well, actually 60 Two minutes later, I get an email saying your payout request has been processed and the money is on the way to your account. Guess what? At 3.30 this afternoon, the money was in my account. The money's already there. It's not even 5.30 now. It came at 3.30 and my money is already there. Already there. That's how easy it is. If what you're dealing with, with whoever broker you, I mean, whoever, whatever prop firm you with, if the process is not that seamless, I would suggest joining a uh, Take Profit Trader because right now they are the best in terms of that. You've got other people trying to imitate them, but if you don't have the process in place, it's not going to work. you got to have a process in place. So, just a reminder before I sign off, if you want to join Take Proper Trade, this is the best opportunity to do it. Um, and I've gone over this till I'm blue in the face, so I'm sure you've heard it. But you to sign up, go... You know, pop over to TakeProfitTrader.com, use code AJT66, and you will get the 40% off deal for life, meaning, and your fees are waived for life. Meaning you get 40% off your test accounts when you get them. And if you get your test accounts under this deal, then when you pass the test and you get ready to move to your... um profit paying account you don't pay any additional fees can't beat that you can't beat that so you can actually buy 
as many test accounts as you want. You can have 10 pro accounts active at one time, but you can only trade actively trade five at one time. So it's a really, once you get to that point and you understand, you'll see, hey, there's no limit to what you can do here. But that's it. I've taken up enough of your time. Um, you guys have a great rest of the day. And I will catch up with you in a little bit.